Shocking revelation from Google DeepMind. AI deciphers brain function. Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how your brain works? What makes you unique? Well, science is closer than ever to answering these questions. Thanks to Google DeepMind's artificial intelligence, we can now simulate a human brain and understand its deepest mechanisms. In this video, we are going to explore this fascinating discovery and uncover its implications for our future. This innovative work, published in the renowned journal Nature, opens up vast new possibilities for understanding how reality works. The brain and its control over complex behaviors could also lead to more advanced and adaptable robots in the future. Let's see exactly what the Deep Mind team at Harvard has achieved and why it is so revolutionary. The first monumental task was to build a precise biomechanical model of a rat's body in a sophisticated physics simulator called Mujoko. This virtual rat had to follow the laws of physics, with factors such as gravity, friction, and the musculoskeletal system. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't done so yet. Let's continue. The researchers used an extensive data set of high-resolution movements recorded from real rats performing various behaviors and natural movements. This provided them with an incredibly rich source of information to build and validate their virtual rodent model. But having an anatomically accurate rat body was only the first step. Next, the team had to create an artificial neural network that could learn to control the biomechanics of this virtual body and replicate the diversity of movements observed in the biological data. This is where Google DeepMind's expertise in machine learning played a significant role. DeepMind researchers closely collaborated with Harvard to apply advanced deep reinforcement learning techniques to train the artificial neural network that would act as the brain of the virtual rat. Specifically, they used an approach called inverse dynamics modeling, which is theorized to be used by our own brains to control complex movements. When you reach for a glass, your brain does not manually move each muscle, but quickly calculates the desired trajectory and translates it into the necessary forces and torques to make it happen smoothly. The virtual rat's neural network was fed with reference motion trajectories from real rat data, and through deep reinforcement learning, it learned to generate the precise pattern of forces that could activate the joints and musculature of the virtual body to successfully recreate those trajectories in the physical simulation. What makes this even more remarkable is that the neural network could generalize what it learned to produce realistic rat behaviors and movement sequences it was never explicitly trained on. Like a biological brain, it showed broad generalization capabilities. Now, with this virtual rat brain successfully controlling the biomechanical model, the researchers could then investigate the activations and dynamics within the neural network to gain insights into how real rat brains might control movement. Surprisingly, they found that the patterns of neural activity in the virtual brain aligned incredibly well with neural recordings made from the motor cortex and other brain regions in rats in action. This suggests that the deep learning algorithm discovered internal models and motor control principles similar to those employed by biological brains. One key property exhibited by the virtual brain was the ability to spontaneously transition between different operational regimes based on context closely mirroring how rodent brain dynamics shift between distinct patterns for different behaviors, such as grooming, running, or jumping. The researchers could also analyze how the network dealt with redundancy, as there are typically multiple ways to achieve a given movement trajectory. How did it choose the optimal solution? The virtual brain appeared to implement a minimum intervention strategy, making only necessary corrections and avoiding unnecessary expenditure of energy or forces. This aligns with optimal feedback control theories that neuroscientists believe biological motor systems evolved to implement. The virtual rat brain was discovering these principles from scratch, simply by trying to generate naturalistic movements. Another powerful insight emerged from analyzing how variability or noise in neural activations mapped to variability in the kinematics and dynamics of the virtual rats. There were clearly structured patterns in how neural fluctuations caused specific types of movement deviations. This type of variability signature is essentially invisible when just looking at overall movements, but a window into it could shed light on the neural coding strategies employed by the brain. 
Having a fully observable and controllable virtual system made these insights possible. If you're enjoying the content, remember to like and subscribe. You would help us a lot. While there is still much more to explore, it is clear that this virtual rat brain has opened a new paradigm for investigating motor control and broader brain function that was previously simply intractable. Instead of being limited to recording neural signals during behavior, neuroscientists can now investigate and perturb an accessible model of the entire brain-body environment in simulation. This is a new frontier of what some have called virtual neuroscience. This virtual rat platform provides a convenient testing ground to test theories on how neural circuits implement specific computational processes, such as state estimation, predictive modeling, cost and reward optimization, and the orchestration of coordinated movement patterns. Even more powerfully, it allows the construction of simulated neural networks with arbitrary connectivity patterns, architectures, neural properties, and learning rules to then see how they give rise to emergent dynamics and behavioral capabilities. It is an unprecedented transparent window into the neural mechanisms behind overt actions and the covert cognitive processes that underpin them. Perfectly controlled experiments and causal manipulations become possible in a way that is much harder with biological specimens alone. There are also exciting opportunities to use this type of virtual brain-body models to simulate neurological conditions or injuries. Introducing specific perturbations or lesions could provide a powerful new way to gain insights into brain disorders and test potential therapies or neural prosthetics in silico before animal trials. Even beyond the neuroscientific implications, this advance also has immense potential to revolutionize robotic control by reverse engineering how biological intelligence emerges from distributed neurodynamics. While classical control theory has given us robots that can perform specific pre-programmed routines, modern AI and deep learning have already demonstrated an ability to generalize and respond to open real-world environments in intelligent and flexible ways. However, most existing robots remain incredibly clumsy and inefficient compared to the ability of a simple animal nervous system to coordinate dexterous movements using deeply intertwined sensory motor control loops with the physics of its embodiment. By studying how the virtual rat brain coordinates its virtual biomechanics, roboticists might be able to abstract the basic principles and neural architectures responsible for this biological intelligence and bring them to new robotic platforms. We could see robots that dynamically adapt their control strategies in response to their environments, develop realistic and general movement skills, optimize force and energy use as animals do, maintain robust operation despite sensor or mechanism failures, and ultimately become much more versatile and capable autonomous systems. Now I want to talk about nuclear fusion, a hot topic lately. Although you might wonder what it has to do with neuroscience, there are deep connections. Google DeepMind has developed TX, a tokamak core simulator using advanced machine learning. It combines physical modeling and AI techniques to solve complex scientific challenges. This approach, similar to the advance of the virtual rat brain, promises to revolutionize other fields of study. What do you think about the impact of Google DeepMind's AI on our understanding of the brain? Leave us your opinion in the comments. If you liked the content, don't forget to like and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue to share interesting information. Thank you.